Hi my loves, welcome back or welcome to a brand new video. So in today's video I will be going over 10 books that I think is perfect for when you're in a reading slump or if you're trying to get out of a reading slump or just books that are just so easy to read, so fast paced that they'll hold your attention whilst you're reading them and you won't get bored whilst reading them which is very essential no matter if you're in a book slump or not and I thought I would go over 10 books that I thought would be perfect for that. You have a video where I tried to get out of my book slump so if you want to see that and see the tips and tricks that I use definitely recommend watching that video first and then if you want some book recommendations I recommend staying to watch this video but I'm excited to go over the books. We have some romance, we have some fantasy and we have some mystery so yeah I'm really excited to talk about these books. We've got some black romance, some contemporary romance, we got some like mystery and yeah I'm just excited to talk about all the books that I think are perfect books. Um, I know I have like so many books that I could actually probably talk about in regards to this and getting out of a book slump. I thought I'd just condense it down to 10 books so it's simple, easy and if you guys want another video I can do another video with another book recommendation of books to read to get out of a book slump but for today we're going to go over 10 of my top reads that have either helped me come out of a book slump or I think will be perfect for getting out of a book slump or when you're in a book slump. So first up, number one, we have Flawless by L.C. Silva. This is actually part of a series called the Chestnut Spring series. I definitely recommend reading the series as a whole. It is so fast paced, so easy to follow and basically it focuses on different characters at each time. So this book features Rhett and Summer. So Summer is like an agent and he is a bull rider, actually a famous bull rider, but he's known as like a playboy called part is something basically happens where he needs someone to help him with publicity and his main agent sends his daughter to come and basically sort him out and you know it's grumpy ex sunshine he's grumpy she's very sunshine i love summer in this book i felt like she was just a breath of fresh air she was just so kind-hearted but she was also sassy she knew what she wanted and seeing the development between these two characters they have an emotional connection but also a sexual tension which i absolutely adore it's slow burn but when it happens it's perfect and as well it's not too long either I think it's like 350 pages maybe a little bit more so it is perfect you don't really want to be reading anything over like 400 pages if you're in a book slump and I think this is perfect I love the series as a whole and Flawless is one of my faves in the series and the series as a whole is definitely a five star series for me so definitely recommend this if you want to get out of a book slump or you're trying to find books to read whilst you're in your book slump so definitely recommend and then next up we're going to go on to a bit of a mystery so we have The Natural by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Again, this is part of a series. I've only read the first book, but in my trying to get out of my book slump video, I did read this book and this helped me so much with getting out of my book slump. It was so fast paced. I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time. I really wanted to know more. So basically it features Cassie and she's, her mum dies and there's not really an investigation to that and she's always had this special ability of like reading people and she basically gets a call from this guy from the FBI asking her if she wants to join this program of a bunch of children who help figure out cold cases and it, like her they have special abilities she decides to join in but alongside that there's loads of mystery stuff starts happening obviously this is like a YA criminal minds and if you've watched criminal minds it's basically a group of people who are trying to find serial killers and that and there's actually a real life case i know they do cold cases but there's a real life case and cassie actually finds out she's more involved with the actual case than she actually thinks so it's very interesting very fun of space and yeah i just really enjoyed it it was a perfect read for me getting me out of book slump and it's the perfect thing to do so she's a very much reader sometimes a genre change is really essential can help you and i definitely recommend like mystery or thriller because there's something that's very different to romance and have different elements which is really fun and really easy to read and then next up we have a fantasy we have a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass again this is part of a series i know in a book slump you don't really want to get started on new series but for me i feel like they're so easy to read series because you get addicted to the books and you just want to keep reading where standalone sometimes like struggle to get into them but with series i can also struggle to get into them but a court of silver frames 
I was thinking about the last book there. A Court of Thorns and Roses basically features Sarah and she's always had a hard life. It's her, her dad and her two sisters and one day she kills a wolf not knowing that he is part of the High Fae and these are basically mystical people and they have different powers and there's like different there's like the spring court there's a summer court there's a night court there's all these different types of people that she ends up having to meet because she gets taken by Tamlin who is the high lord of the spring court and from that she enters a whole world of danger of love of just fun I found this book so fun to read it's not my favorite out of the series but it definitely sets up for the series and it's so fast-paced so fun so easy to read and I love fantasy now because of this series it's one of the series that has opened my eyes to fantasy and as I said it's really fast-paced really easy to read and again it's going to keep your attention especially if you're always reading romance all the time but you want to kind of have something that's a bit romantic this series is perfect because it's romanticy i would say it's romance and fantasy and it's perfect so i definitely recommend this if you haven't read it and i know it's very popular now especially on tiktok so i definitely recommend reading it it's really easy to read as well and next up we have the housemaid by frida mcfadden this is a thriller mystery but this one's kind of for me it feels like it's set in like not the olden days i feel weird saying that like basically it features this woman she's a housemaid by the beginning of the book it's kind of like mysterious she's kind of set up to be very mysterious so she gets a job as a housemaid but the wife is very weird and it's basically following this housemaid's journey in this house with this family a lot's going on people are not who they actually are to be and it's very interesting very tense i didn't expect the twist to come and it's really easy to read again look how really thin it is perfect keeps your attention so easy to read i was on the edge of my seat there's actually part of a series i think there's another book i think i have it on here it's called the housemaid secret which i'm really excited to read and this was definitely one of the first books i've read in terms of thriller and mystery and i think it's perfect for when you're in a book slump and if you're trying to get out of one is absolutely perfect and then next up we have icebreaker by hannah grace this one is more of the smutty romances i have on this list i love icebreaker one because it's a college romance i love college romances but also the sports romance and it's also enemies to lovers so we meet two characters who are very different from each other so we have nate and we have anastasia and i love these two i love them even more so as the stories progress because there's three books at the moment i'm currently reading daydream and the icebreaker book it's just so good and there's actually three books in this series this is the first book in the series i currently read daydream which i really enjoyed and icebreaker was just so fun to read so fast paced if you want something that's smarty i definitely recommend this it is definitely high on the smart so if you don't like smart i wouldn't recommend it but if you do like smart and you want something more smarty in a book slump, i know for me when i'm in a book slump i like books that are fast paced but sometimes also smarty when there's a bit of smart in there it kind of just like excites me more don't know why it excites me more and yeah this is a really good book it's really fun it's really cozy and i love the enemies to lovers aspect of it i think it's just so fun and it's a group of characters so it's quite like found family and yeah i'm really excited to continue with the series it's so good and i definitely recommend reading the other books from the maple hill series and next up we have terms and conditions by lauren asher this is actually the second book in the dreamland billionaire series the reason why i mentioned this book specifically is because this is my favorite this features iris and declan so iris is declan's assistant and declan has to find a bride because basically the premise of this is him and his brothers kind of own kind of disneyland kind of vibes and when their granddad dies in his will in order for them to get a part in the company they have to do a different thing and declan's task is to have a baby and to get married and you know it doesn't really work out so iris decides to offer herself up to be his wife not knowing the full extent of everything and basically they get married it's a marriage of convenience it's also unrequited feelings Declan is always been very protective over Iris and as the book progresses you kind of see that even more so in the beginning it's kind of seen as 
he is just like very mean very grumpy and she's very like light and fluffy so i just adored this book it's also got a black female main character which i adored i just love these two with my whole heart one of my favorite couples and it's just so easy to read because you get so invested into the characters even from the first book each character and each couple are very interesting and very different so easy to read so fast paced for the size of it as well which is perfect and just in general lauren ash's books are so good and perfect so for getting out of book slump because they're so fast paced so easy to read so easy to understand what's happening in the books as well you're not going to get confused whilst you're reading it which is also perfect for getting in the book slump you want something that's easy to read you don't want something that has loads of different elements to it and yeah that book is perfect and then next up we have love wager by lynn painter this book again is one of those easy fast paced reads it's basically about two people they kind of have a one night stand but they decide they're better off as friends and they decide to create a wager to help each other fall in love and who whoever falls in love first basically wins something from the other one and, and obviously alongside the way they fall in love as we all know and yeah it's just so fun seeing the development of that and that is the bit that's really fun of it not just like the fact oh we know they fall in love we get to see the development of that we see the jealousy we see the friendship we see the growth and it's just so fun to read it's so funny as well it definitely has like the comedic element to it and lynn painter i just feel like she makes feel good books that actually feel like a movie i feel like i've watched something like this and this should be made into a movie because it's so movie like like whilst i was reading it i was imagining the characters it was very easy to imagine because it's so simple but effective at the same time so i definitely recommend it if you haven't read it plus look how thin it is like guys look how thin it is i think it's like 200 something it's not even 300 pages long that is how good so it's really perfect for when you're in a book slump or when you're trying to get out of one next up we have one last job by in the star this book guys i've spoken about this book many 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 times it's actually in my 10 favorite books i've read so far in 2024 so i'm not going to talk too much about it because i know a lot of people might have watched that video but this book features two people we have such beautiful characters in this book amber for one i absolutely adored amber she has so much creative like put in her company but she's never given that motivation or motivation she never like congratulated by her boss her boss kind of basically takes everything because she's a designer and she basically given a task to design this club with this corporate guy and he's from london i believe and obviously she's from the us and there's a bit of a miscommunication which leads her to not like him but it's cleared up very quickly and from there a relationship blossoms it's so fun so easy to read and i will tell you now Finn is one of my favourite characters ever. He is like one of my ultimate book boyfriends. I need to do that video right here right now because he, the stuff he does, the acts of service or even just the quality time of this man, he is like everything and more and just seeing the progression of these two together it was chef's kiss even the little moments what i love about this book is there's so many little moments it doesn't have to be anything extravagant or big the little moments mean so much and all the small things make the most difference so so perfect so cute so wholesome so cozy and just so fun i definitely recommend reading the whole of the series i think this is actually the second book in the series but this is like a six star five star series for me because it was that good and then uh, next up we have better than the movies again by lynn painter another one of her books that are so fun this is more ya this book features two people liz and wes they live next to each other their whole lives their parents are friends but they are kind of like enemies or frenemies as you'll call it and one of their childhood friends basically moves back into town she has a crush on him so she enlists wes to help her and basically they pretend to fake date in order to make the guy jealous but obviously that's not all as it seems what i love about this book and the most important thing i feel like is the love for music and movies that liz has i think that's how i could really relate to her and she could relate to it on a deeper level because of some family stuff and i just love that bit i loved the aspect of this book where at the start of each chapter there was like a movie quote and how liz would like talk about music so like if she was at a party she'd be like oh i wish this song was playing like it would have made it better and i could kind of imagine it and also the playlist listening to the playlist whilst reading this book also was so elite and and let me tell you guys this listening to music playlists or even just audiobooks whilst reading books is perfect it also helps you get more into the story because you're kind of hearing the characters which makes you imagine them better and it helps it definitely with a book slump it helps you kind of get more into a story because obviously in a book slump 
the reason is that you don't want to read a book or you do want to read a book but you're just not interested in it and it's hard to get yourself like interested in a book but audiobooks music playlist is so helpful and this book is so easy to follow so fast paced it has actually no smut in it because it's a YA and I can't wait for the next movie I'm even saying movie because this book feels so like a movie as well and I can't wait for the next book to come out. I think it comes out in October, I believe. And I just can't wait to read it because this book was just so good. One of my favourite YAs. I don't usually read YAs because I find them a bit immature, childlike. But this one, it had mature elements to it. But it still had the fun teen angst. And it was just so fun and cosy and fluffy. So definitely perfect for getting yourself out of books long. Last but not least, we have Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop. Again, this book is in my recent video, 10 books that I read in 2020 that I loved so much and this book has all the holiday feels it has all the holiday feels it is a black romance it is about two people who actually are going on holiday together so she's actually planning her sister's wedding who is getting married to her ex-boyfriend and her romance begins with the main character who is the best man called Rome and Rome just him alone without talking about anyone else him alone is elite these scenes in this book i just i keep talking about them i feel like i mention them in every video but he takes her on a boat gives her a book and just says i'm not even gonna you don't even need to talk to me babes i know you're overwhelmed i know you're stressed for your sister's wedding sit there read you don't even need to talk to me but not even that he said um do you have any recommendations for me to read i want to read your books i want to see what they're like Janae as well I loved Janae I loved the messages in this book as well and I was so giddy reading this book I was so dramatic I think I have a video where I read this book actually yes I did I, where my booktubers pick what reads I read and Shauna C again recommended this I love Shauna C she has so many great black romances black thrillers so many good books by black authors so I definitely recommend checking out her YouTube channel if you haven't because I discovered this book because of her and since then I've always been thankful love it five stars six stars one of my favorite reads and just perfect for getting yourself a book slump because look at the size of it look how size of it and it has the wedding feels like look at the back the wedding feels we have the smart the spiciness the heartfelt emotional connection if you want a new book boyfriend rome is that guy and this is the book so i definitely recommend it if you haven't read it but that is it for the video those are all the 10 books that i recommend for reading to get yourself out of a book slump i do have many 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 more recs so if you guys want another video of this like a part two let me know because i'll always is trying to find new books that are perfect for a book slump as I go into a book slump or just as I'm reading to find books that are so easy to read and perfect for beginners so I might even do a video where I talk about books that are perfect for beginners who want to get into reading so yeah that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe also check out my previous video which is not my previous video video i posted a few weeks ago where i talked about my august read and in there i did a little giveaway detail bit so if you guys want to enter my 1k subscriber giveaway go to that video i also have it in the description below but yeah i'm just so thankful for you guys i love you guys so much i hope you guys are okay how's your week being how's september going for you are you excited for proper fall to start this video should be coming out just before fall really starts and begins because i know it doesn't start until the 22nd of september and i'm just excited for all the cozy content so yeah that is it for today's video stay blessed everyone and as i always say i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye my loves